and the sun runs its course to a term appointed for it. That is the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing, and the moon we have determined for it phases until it returns, appearing like an old palm stalk. It is not for it to overtake the moon, nor does the night outstrip the day. They each in an orbit float. Allah truth is the greatest. What do we know about the moon? Today we know that the moon is covered by craters as well as dust and debris from comets, asteroids, and meteoroid impacts. We know that the moon's dark areas, called Maria, which is Latin for seas, are not actually seas. Instead, they are craters that lava seeped into billions of years ago. We know that the moon has almost no atmosphere and only about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. We even know that there is quite a bit of frozen water tucked away in craters near the moon's poles. The moon is roughly 3,474 kilometers in diameter and orbits about 384,400 kilometers away from Earth. Its gravitational interaction with Earth stabilizes our planet's axial tilt, which helps maintain a stable climate. Additionally, the moon's surface is a record of billions of years of impact history, largely unaltered by atmospheric and geological processes that would erase similar evidence on Earth. The formation of lunar craters is predominantly formed by the impact of meteoroids, asteroids, and comets. When these space rocks collide with the moon, they release immense energy, excavating large depressions in the surface. This process can be likened to a colossal cosmic hammer strike, instantaneously creating a crater and often ejecting material far from the point of impact. At the end of the video of our moon photography using our new equipment, you'll find a link to our new episodes video of the moon using artificial intelligence and comparing it to our photography. Lunar craters come in various sizes and complexities, categorized mainly into three types. Simple craters, small, bowl-shaped craters with smooth rounded walls, typically less than 20 kilometers in diameter. Complex craters, larger craters featuring central peaks, terraced walls, and relatively flat floors. These craters can be several hundred kilometers in diameter. Impact basins, the largest type of crater. These basins are often several hundred kilometers across and surrounded by multiple rings of mountains. Some impact basins can exceed 1,000 kilometers in diameter. The studying of lunar craters provides invaluable insights into the history and evolution of the solar system. The distribution, size, and age of these craters offer clues about the frequency and intensity of impact events. This data helps scientists piece together the timeline of significant events that have shaped not only the moon, but also other celestial bodies. The moon holds a special place in human culture, symbolizing various mythologies, religions, and literary works. It has been a muse for poets, artists, and writers, inspiring countless pieces of art and literature. The moon's phases and cycles have also played a role in the development of calendars and timekeeping. When we think of mountains, we often picture towering peaks on Earth, but the moon is home to its own impressive and mysterious mountain ranges. These lunar mountains, while not as tall as the giants found on Earth, offer a captivating glimpse into the geological history of our nearest celestial neighbor. Let's embark on a journey to explore the mountainous regions of the moon and unravel the secrets they hold, formation and characteristics. The mountains on the moon are primarily formed through two processes, impacts and volcanic activity. Unlike Earth, the moon lacks plate tectonics, so its mountain ranges are not the result of tectonic forces. Instead, they are predominantly the byproduct of ancient colossal impacts and volcanic flows. The moon's surface 
experiences some of the most extreme temperature variations in the solar system, largely due to its lack of atmosphere. Here's a closer look at the temperature dynamics on the lunar surface. Day and night temperature swings. Daytime temperatures. During lunar daytime, temperatures can soar to a blistering 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 121 degrees Celsius at the equator. This intense heat is a result of direct sunlight hitting the surface without any atmospheric filtering, nighttime temperatures. Conversely, when the moon enters its two week long night, temperatures can plummet to a frigid negative 208 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 133 degrees Celsius. In the permanently shadowed craters near the poles, temperatures can drop even further, reaching as low as negative 410 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 246 degrees Celsius. Factors contributing to temperature extremes, lack of atmosphere. The moon's exosphere is extremely thin, providing no insulation to retain heat. This results in rapid heating during the day and equally rapid cooling at night one. Solar radiation, the sun's energy directly impacts the lunar surface, causing significant temperature increases during the day. Permanently shadowed regions, some craters near the moon's poles never receive sunlight, leading to permanently cold conditions. It is he who made the sun a shining light and the moon a radiance and determined for it phases that you may know the number of years and account. Allah did not create this except in truth. He details the verses for a people who know. There it hangs, a silent luminous pearl in the night sky, a beacon in the darkness watching over us with a serene and unwavering gaze. It's a celestial body that has captivated our imaginations for millennia a source of endless fascination and wonder. For as long as humans have looked up, drawn to the inky canvas above, the moon has been our constant companion, a faithful friend in the vast expanse of space. Through changing seasons and shifting tides of history, it has remained a steadfast presence. It pulls at our oceans, orchestrating the ebb and flow of tides with its silent, gravitational dance. Marks our months dictating the rhythm of our calendars and fills our stories with silvery light, weaving its magic into our myths and legends. It's a muse for poets, a guide for travelers, and a source of comfort in the darkest of nights. Yet, to truly look at the moon, to observe its stark beauty and intricate details, is to be filled with wonder and a sense of profound connection to the cosmos. It is a world unto itself, a desolate yet captivating landscape of craters, mountains, and vast ancient plains, a celestial neighbor forever bound to us in a cosmic ballet, a story as old as earth, a tale etched in rock and dust. The moon is more than a pretty light, a mere decoration in the night sky. It's a powerful force shaping our planet and influencing our lives and a timeless mystery beckoning us to explore its secrets. Its phases teach us about cycles, the constant rhythm of change and renewal that governs the universe, light and shadow, the interplay of opposing forces that creates balance and beauty, and the mechanics of our solar system, the intricate dance of celestial bodies that sustains life on Earth. To gaze upon the moon is to connect with every generation before us, to share in their wonder and awe. They too looked up asking, what is it made of? What secrets are hidden within its ancient rocks? How did it get there? What cataclysmic event shaped its destiny? The moon is a bridge across time, a shared heritage for all humanity, a testament to our enduring curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It is a symbol of constancy and mystery a reminder of the vastness of the universe and the infinite possibilities that lie beyond our world. Close enough to see, to touch, perhaps even to inhabit one day, yet forever holding secrets, whispering tales of cosmic origins and untold adventures. 
What is the moon made of? Scoop up moon dust and you'd find it's not so different from Earth's rock. The surface is covered by regolith, a fine, powdery dust created by billions of years of impacts. Beneath lies a crust, rich in oxygen, silicon, magnesium, iron, calcium, and aluminum, just like Earth. This similarity supports the theory that the moon formed from Earth's own material. The moon has layers, crust mantle, and a small iron-rich core. Unlike Earth, the moon is incredibly dry with no water in its rocks or on its surface. Its dryness is a result of its fiery birth and lack of atmosphere. The moon is a silent, arid world, a beautiful desert of rock and dust. The moon's face is a tapestry of craters, pits, and peaks. Each crater is a preserved record of ancient impacts, from tiny pits to vast basins. The largest, like the South Pole Aitken Basin, are only fully visible from orbit. Dark patches, or maria, are not seas, but plains of volcanic rock. Ancient lava flows filling impact basins. These flows give the moon its two-toned appearance. Majestic mountain ranges, like Montes Apenninus, are the shattered rims of giant basins. These mountains cast long shadows, especially near the Terminator, the line between night and day. Here, the rugged beauty of the lunar landscape is most breathtaking. The moon's ever-changing phases captivate us. Its cycle, from sliver to full and back, is caused by our shifting view of its sunlit side as it orbits Earth. The moon reflects sunlight, completing its journey around us every 29.5 days. The cycle begins with the new moon, hidden from view. As it orbits, a waxing crescent appears, growing to first quarter, then waxing gibbous. The full moon reveals the entire sunlit face. Afterward, the moon wanes, waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent. The cycle ends and begins anew with the new moon. This progression has been a source of wonder and a practical tool for millennia. The moon's phases are a cosmic clock, marking time in our night sky. The moon's gravity shapes the tides, pulling at our oceans and creating rhythmic rises and falls. Its pull is stronger on the side of Earth closest to it, creating a tidal bulge and a second bulge on the far side. As Earth rotates, we experience two high tides and two low tides each day. The sun's gravity also affects tides, creating spring tides when aligned with the moon and neap tides when at right angles. This gravitational partnership continues to shape life on Earth. Humanity's fascination with the moon is ancient. Early people tracked its phases, built monuments aligned to its cycles, and wove it into myth. The telescope revealed the moon's rugged surface, craters, mountains, and maria, transforming it from myth to a world of rock and shadow. Photography allowed detailed mapping, and modern telescopes now reveal features just hundreds of meters across. Advanced optics let us study the moon's composition from afar. Our gaze, once limited, now pierces space to read the moon's geological story. The moon has always inspired us to look up and wonder. It remains a symbol of curiosity and discovery. The moon is in synchronous rotation with Earth always showing us the same face. Its far side was a mystery until space probes revealed it. The lunar surface endures extreme temperatures from 127 degrees Celsius in sunlight to 173 degrees Celsius below zero in darkness. Some polar craters remain in permanent shadow among the coldest places in the solar system. Earthshine Sunlight reflected from Earth to the moon and back illuminates the moon's dark side with a ghostly glow. The moon experiences moonquakes caused by Earth's gravity, meteorite impacts, or temperature changes. These tremors are weaker than earthquakes, 
but can last longer. The moon is not dead, but quietly geologically active. Its subtle phenomena deepen its mystery and beauty. From its cataclysmic, violent birth, a cosmic collision that reshaped our early solar system, to its steady, unwavering presence in our night sky, the moon is inextricably woven into the very fabric of Earth's story. It has been a silent witness to our planet's evolution. It is a constant partner in gravity's elegant dance, a celestial ballet performed across eons. I hope you like our stories of the skies. Until we meet again, I wish you a clear sky.